From chasing cheese down a hill to shoving pies down your neck, there are a wide range of sports that exist in the world. Three, two, one. Some are amazing, some are a little bit weird, but all of these sports tend to have one thing in common. And that is that they are competitive. Over the last 10 years of my life, I have done the sport of parkour. And in those 10 years, parkour has changed an awful lot. I just cannot even begin to express how much this sport is just in the last couple years, there's just a, a, the it's tiniest like, crack. It's like a crack like in a curb. <laughs> On this channel, I've made a number of videos exploring the evolution of the sport. However, one thing has always held parkour back from ever truly becoming mainstream. That thing is, parkour isn't naturally competitive. In fact, the opposite. With the focus being on fulfilling personal challenges and milestones. Parkour is trained with other people, but it's trained with them, not against them. This all sounds well and good, but it does present a problem. With no competitive element or needed equipment, parkour becomes very hard to create an industry around. You can quite happily do parkour and take enjoyment from it without investing a single penny back into the community. For a sport to grow, that is a problem. No. No. However, there is one thing that's presented itself over the last few years as a potential solution to that problem. No. And that is World Chase Tag. Front line goes Medi, over the top, double Kong over the sisters. Jukes one way, then the other, and ducks under the dive! And that might be enough! Time ticking away! Round by the front line as well, desperation! So we're here at the birthplace of World Chase Tag, a back garden near Slough. But before we get into the video, I must shout out today's video sponsor, Vibe Ramen. Vite Ramen specialise in making nutritious ramen that's high in protein and gives you 25% of your daily vitamins and minerals. They're super easy to make, they literally take about 3 minutes and they're done. Not only that, but they are delicious. I've literally gone through about 50 in the last month or two. So be sure to check the links in the description so you can get 10% off your orders. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, so the birthplace story of World Chase Tag isn't as romantic as some, however, it is an interesting one. Tag is a game as old as humanity itself. I mean, even animals play it. You wanna play tag, brother? It's the famous MRG But it wasn't until 2014 that someone would have the bright idea of turning it into a competitive sport. And ever since then, World Chase Tag has had international events every single year and even a televised series in the works, which we'll get into later in the video. So with all this traction surrounding World Chase Tag, where does parkour fit into this? Well, it's little surprise that the people who would excel at the sport of sprinting through obstacles would be free runners. Free runners have turned the playground game of tag into the spectacle that we see in World Chase Tag. <laughs> And as World Chase Tag continues to grow with no signs of slowing down, a very obvious opportunity is presenting itself to freerunners. Andy Tommy, now this guy is an excitement machine. He is going to charge at you. And he looks sketchy. He looks like he's not in full control, but he will hunt you down and he hunts him down there. Over the years, competition in parkour hasn't been a smooth journey. There has been some pretty heated debates around whether competition should even exist in parkour. But despite all these debates, competition in parkour did start to happen around 2007, with the very first Art of Motion held in Vienna, and then the second Barclay Card World Championship that happened in 2009 in London, in front of an audience estimated to be around 8,000 people. But despite the massive budget and major audience, something was missing. You see, Barclays weren't truly interested in sculpting competitive parkour, creating a judging criteria or a rule set. They were simply interested in riding the fad of parkour's first major boom. Not to discredit the event's impact, but parkour was a very long way from becoming an enjoyable sporting event to watch. And from style competitions to speed comps, technical competitions, Nothing has ever truly taken off in the mainstream world. 
That was until, well, Chase Tag. Oh. And not to discredit other parkour competitions, some are really good. However, there is something that just stands well Chase Tag apart from other competitions. And what I think that is, is World Chase Tag is just so easy to understand without any prior knowledge of the sport. There's just something so primal about seeing someone run away from someone else. You don't need an explanation. You don't need a nuanced understanding of how hard it is to stick a jump on a rail. You don't need any of that. You just have to watch it and instantly you just kind of get it. My name is Damien DeVoe and this is Christian DeVoe. We're brothers. We started World Chase Tag about four or five years ago. You only need to watch, you know, two seconds of a chase before you know the fundamentals of what's happening. And people relate to it because we all played it from before. And it's probably something deep within our DNA that we understand what it's like to be chased. There's not many sports besides like fighting, where you see athletes really on edge and fighting for their lives. You can't replicate that in sports like football, or like in badminton, in tennis, for example. Like, and I think that's a really interesting thing for crowds to watch. I feel like it's still got to take you back on a nostalgic level, though. Like yeah. as a kid, when you're playing tag, it seems so epic, mm. and then you suddenly see something, you think, "Shit, oh, man, that just does the same thing." <laughs> and it's this accessibility that could push World well Chase Tag into mainstream success. As soon as World Chase Tag hosted its first major event, it was pretty much an instant success. The videos would go insanely viral, being shared all across social media and amassing about 350 million views. For the first time in its lifespan, Parkour had found a competition format with genuine mainstream appeal. But before we carry on, there is one important question we need to ask. And that is, is World Chase Tag actually a parkour competition? When we started, we weren't really involved in parkour. I always came from a martial art background. And what I find interesting about Chase Tag is that people are training it in the same way that we train martial arts. You drill certain things. And your competitor is an intrinsic part of your training. You sharpen each other together, you know. Like when you do parkour, you're reliant. Everything is solely down to you. It's and I think some parkour athletes don't actually like chase tag. Too many elements yeah. out of control. Yeah, yeah. I want I want my environment to be totally controlled. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And it's all down to me. Yeah. I find the brothers approach interesting. For all intents and purposes, well chase tag is parkour. One of the founders of parkour, Sebastian Fukan, referred to well chase tag as the purest form of parkour. Oh, man. Yeah, this is the <laughs> parkour as its uh, purest form. However, the brothers have taken a slightly different approach. To them, World Chase Tag is, well, Chase Tag. It's trained and played as a competitive sport, unlike parkour. And I know this probably sounds like I'm splitting hairs a little bit, but I think this is an important distinction to make. People going out doing parkour in town centers, in gyms, aren't doing Chase Tag. They're doing parkour. That being said, World well Chase Tag is very clearly dominated by parkour athletes. So the relationship between World well Chase Tag and parkour is a very close one. But what does World well Chase Tag actually mean for parkour? How can parkour benefit from World well Chase Tag? A lot needs to go right before World well Chase Tag becomes a truly sustainable competitive industry that would have the potential to turn parkour mainstream. However, right now, the doors to World Chase Tag success are open for those who train hard for it. As the sport is young, World Chase Tag specific locations are only just starting to open up around the world. There is a major opportunity for up and coming athletes who want to make a name for themselves in World Chase Tag to do so. As these athletes continue to raise the skill level within the sport, the need for world-class teams will grow. Managers of these teams will have to seek out the best athletes to up their chances of winning the trophy and the cash prize. And the more the sport progresses and becomes more entertaining to watch, the more opportunities will open up for World well Chase Tag. And one of those opportunities is sponsorships. Ever since World Chase Tag's first major event, the DeVoe brothers knew they needed to seek out sponsorships to make these events happen. From sports drinks to caffeinated chewing gum with sponsors brings revenue. As World Chase Tag continues on what seems to be an upward trajectory, more and more investors are gonna see the financial value in sponsoring World Chase Tag. If 
Let's say Red Bull decided to sponsor Marrera Gang, or Adidas decided to sponsor United, then these teams and its athletes would have a very real opportunity to make a living from Chase Tag. That's it, anticipate, good. Speed, go. speed, 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 speed. I know it's all well and good me saying this, but how likely is it that major sponsors would invest in World Chase Tag? The brand wants predictability. They want to know whatever they're getting involved with, that partnership, it's one that's gonna last for a period of time. I think a lot of brands nowadays are interested not just in slapping a logo on something, but seeing how do you interact with your audience, right? Yeah, my aim is to get bigger sponsors on board because at the end of the day, I need to be able to afford for my team to all meet up and train and come to these events and get bigger. And the only way we can do that is if we're getting paid to do that. So if you're a team and you look for sponsorship, what they need to know is like, is that team going to be around in two years time? Are they still going to be successful? Do they have the right like training ethos? Are they going to, oh, these are going to be, they're going to come today, then they're going to go out and then just like, yeah, not, yeah. You know. World Chase Tag still has a very uphill battle before it truly becomes an established sport. However, its first six years have been very promising and there's a lot of excitement within the parkour world. Very recently, a major investor has picked up World Chase Tag and intends to turn it into a regular televised event. Each, each year we've got bigger and bigger, but last year was sort of a bit of a threshold because we got on Channel 4 and NBC. Maybe you can get the evasion the full 20 seconds. Oh! But that was only a one episode, so that was like a pilot. This year, we just signed a six episode agreement with it. Unfortunately, I was asked not to share the full details of the contract, but what I can tell you is that a major American television network have committed to making a full season of World Chase Tag episodes. This is a big step for a sport that birthed out of viral clips online. Television offers a stamp of approval from the mainstream world. <sighs> Putting World Chase Tag on television could turn it from being this obscure thing found on the internet into a serious sport. One that has diehard fans at its live events, people betting on the sport, and fans wanting to buy merchandise. And that should be the main objective for World Chase Tag right now. World Chase Tag needs its audience to take it serious and become passionate about the sport. It's all well and good having millions of views online, but trends and fads come and go. Creating something that has genuine value requires extremely hard work in making a super strong brand image. And creating this culture and community around World Chase Tag is what will take it to the next level. Fans need to genuinely care about their teams. They need to ride the highs and lows of the outcomes of matches. They need to be upset when they see their favorite player injured or outraged when a referee makes a decision that doesn't go their way. World Chase Tag needs to mean something to its audience. I mean, World Chase Tag's success could be akin to how the X Games revolutionized skateboarding and many other extreme sports. The X Games basically took disorganized punk teenagers who loved hurling themselves through the air and turned them into respectable athletes. And many of these athletes gained worldwide respect, fame, and success. Skateboarding went from being a pretty fringe activity to a sport that nearly every teenager did throughout the 2000s. The more that we see Jackie, you know, mother of three, sugar-filled lads, entrust her children into the hands of parkour coaches, the more the parkour industry will grow. In the same way that things like rock climbing and skateboarding classes have become less of a fringe activity and more generally accepted. I mean, personally, I'm very optimistic for the future of World Chase Tag and the potential for it to further professionalize parkour. I am, of course, very biased as I've been involved with World Chase Tag since the beginning. However, I would never have been involved if I didn't genuinely believe in the potential for World Chase Tag. So let's see where this thing takes us. All I want is I want one person, just one, to see what these guys are doing and just see, that's what I want to do. If you can provide a platform where you create heroes, right? And in my mind, all the people that do like the chase tag, they're, they're superheroes, yeah? And when you see them in competition, it's like, holy, this is unbelievable to watch, right? Creating something that 
gives these guys this platform that other people who don't normally do parkour suddenly now kids are seeing things oh, that's what i want to do mm. right and so it's absolutely vital because that provides the inspiration for other people they might not do a parkour competition but they, they're doing parkour because they've seen movement Anyway, I want to know in the comments what you think is the future for World Chase Tag. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. If you want to go further and support the channel, you can donate to me on Patreon or by using my affiliate code on the Vite Rama website. Peace.